Hey guys, this is Alex Chamberlain, and I know I've been out for a bit. I haven't been posting a lot of videos lately. Um, I just started going back to school, so that's taken up a lot of my time. And then, actually, I ended up uh, fracturing my kneecap. Um, only a small break right on the side, but I've been out for a couple weeks to a month at this point. Um, I just got out of a, a mobilizer with crutches, so now I can walk, so I'm pretty stoked. But yeah, I'm pretty motivated to start making videos again, so I'd really like to get back at it. And I just wanted to say, just for a little precaution, I was wearing specialized uh, Atlas knee pads, the really thin ones that look like uh, knee warmers, when I crashed. So I broke my kneecap through the knee pad I was wearing. Um, they're not horrible knee pads, but I was just riding a really chunky place, uh, Bidwell Park in Chico, and it didn't fare too well with my knee. So one of the main reasons I'm doing this video is I just wanted to tell you guys that I will not be riding my uh, Pivot Firebird any longer. This Pivot has been an amazing bike, and uh, I have no complaints with it. I mean, suspension is probably the best you'll find on the market. Pedals, it's like what everyone else says, pedals phenomenal, but the descents are where it's all about. This thing loves to get rowdy. So, the only reason I'm really switching is to try out a 29er, but you'll probably see me back on a Pivot when they release a long travel 29er. They just need to uh, get on that, you know? <laughs> So yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that nothing against the Pivot, it's been phenomenal. I think it's just about time, and especially since I'm out for like a month and a half to two months, I thought it'd be really fun to have this new project with a new bike, and yeah, I'm just really stoked on getting on big wheels again. So trying out the 29er, I'm going to keep a lot of the Shimano components that are on this bike, but I'm trying out a few new things, and uh, yeah, I think you'll be pretty stoked on the outcome. Also, what would be really sick is if DT Swiss started making these EX1501 uh, 30 mil rims in the 29er. I know they make them, but you guys just need to get them out there. I want to buy some for the new bike. So yeah, just a recap. I've, I've loved the ownership of this bike. I've only had it for like five, five months, six months. But uh, it's been all over kind of the western North America-ish area. And it's just been a blast. It's the most capable bike. It's the most capable bike I've ever owned. And I'm not just saying that. It is just. It's been phenomenal. But a big thing. I'm really looking forward to having a water bottle cage and a water bottle inside the frame. Maybe some storage. Maybe there might be a tool up here that has some uh, multi-tool stuff in there. I'm gonna try out a new seat post. It's gonna be. I don't know. There's a couple new things and a lot of the standbys like. You gotta keep the XTR cranks, you know I love aluminum cranks, I love aluminum wheels. Um, these Saint brakes have been amazing, I've run them for, I don't know, ever since this model came out, so 2012, 2013, and they've been amazing. I was thinking about trying the TRPs, but uh, unless I get some help on that one, I don't think I'll be purchasing those anytime soon, but uh, I've heard a lot of good things. But yeah, I just wanted to update you guys. I'll be on a new bike, and uh, down in the comments below, guess what I got? Just so you know, it has a 170 mil fork on it, and it's a 29er. So throw down in the comments and see if you guess what I actually got. I look forward to showing you the build, and I'll probably release it in parts because I don't have all the parts right now. Um, I have probably 80% of them, but every time I install a part, I'll post a video. So definitely look forward to that, and subscribe so you can get those notifications. And then also that bell, that bell actually matters apparently next to the subscribe button. So I would press that so you actually know what's happening on the channel. But thanks for watching and uh, I can't wait to make more videos for you guys. Cheers.